Holman Cole's ski wax set. What does it consist of? A rubber band. Use it to fasten the stoppers of your bindings so they aren't in your way. Wax ab. Use it to clean the base of your skis. Three kinds of brushes. A copper brush. Use it for waxing. A horsehair brush. Use it after waxing. And a nylon brush for polishing if necessary. A scratcher is also included to scratch off wax. The red wax is the basic wax. The blue one is for slightly colder weather and there's the yellow wax for when it's warm outside. There's also an iron for applying the wax and everything comes in a handy suitcase. The binding is fastened with a rubber band. The stopper you fastened so the ski doesn't show above the base. The first thing you're gonna do is clean the ski, the upper side of the base and bottom. Fasten the ski. Is it tightly in its place? Then spray the wax app onto the ski. Get yourself a towel. Rub the wax app on the ski in a calm fashion. And give it some time to work. The wax app is now drying. Give it another rub with your towel. Now you have a nice and clean base. Now that we've cleaned the outer side of the base, but what about the inside? You clean the inside with the yellow wax. The yellow wax is a soft wax, and if you scratch it off while still a bit warm, you can better clean the inside. The first thing you're going to do is open up the structure with a copper brush. The base opens up, so you can access its pores. Get the brush and lightly add pressure, not too much. With short movements you bring the brush backwards and forwards. It's important to always work your way down from the tip to the tail. The structure has now opened up. Remove the clamp. This is important because the iron will be around 120 degrees Celsius. You don't want to ruin your clamps. If you want to know how hot your iron should be, check the back of the packaging. Turn on the iron. Is the light not burning anymore? This means your iron is on the right temperature. The light is off, so it's the right temperature. Press the wax to the iron. It will start to drip. The first thing you're going to do is to divide the wax. Make sure the whole base has an equal amount of wax on it. Make sure the iron is always moving. Don't let it stand still on its place. Now the wax is divided. We can put the iron on the base and very slowly work your way down. If you're doing it right, you should have a little layer of wax on the end of your iron. This means the wax is fluid and hot enough to get inside the pores. And this is how you handle your ski. You'll notice that you can get some resistance. This means the wax on the front of your iron is melting. Normally, you let the wax cool and dry before you scratch it off. In this case, you don't, because you can really get the pores clean this way.
Now all the dirt is removed from the pores. Your ski is now clean on the inside and on the outside. Fasten the ski again. Now get your steel brush. Now move the steel brush from the tip to the tail. Remove the clamp. Now we're going to apply the red wax. The red wax is a basic wax. You can use it in most circumstances. Make sure your iron has the right temperature. Again, you can find it on the back of the wax box. Now divide the wax again. Opposed to what we just did, with the yellow wax, which we scratched off immediately, to clean that part of the ski, we are now going to let the wax cool completely. At room temperature, this will take around 30 minutes, so the wax can dry properly. When it's completely cooled down, you can start to scratch the wax off. Fasten the ski again. And start at the tip, going down to the tail. We've got rid of most of it. Go over your ski again to feel if there's still wax in or around places. And as you can see, almost all of the excess wax is now removed. All that remains now is the wax on the steel sides. The scratcher has a little corner. You put it on the steel side. And then you remove the steel side wax. Now all excess wax is removed. You now have a choice. Put on another layer of wax or not. If you use another layer, use the copper brush again. What kinds of wax you should use depends on the weather conditions. Is it really cold, then use the blue wax. Are you going skiing off season, use the yellow wax for the warmer days. This process just repeats the steps we just did. Are you done waxing? Take your horsehair brush and go over your ski. This way you can remove the last bits of wax. And again work from the tip to the tail. As you can see while scratching off we didn't have any excess wax. But you can still see small amounts of wax coming off the ski. We are now basically done. Now you can choose to polish the base of your ski. You can do this when it gets a little colder. Use the nylon brush for polishing. And again from the tip to the tail. You can see the ski starts to shine. And that's that. You completely waxed your ski.